Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal For Yourself. And today I wanna to talk about taking back your power to heal. We have talked about taking back your power so many times. What does that mean? That means taking back your personal power, your personal power, because anytime you give your power to something, to someone in a relationship, to an idea, to a thought, to write to a negative thought that's going in, in your head and looping, to an argument with a person or a relationship. Okay, sorry, dog's barking. But if you give your power away to anything, right? Anything that's taking your power, just like it could be your to-do list, could be your work, whatever sapping your energy, what are you giving your energy to? What are you giving your personal power to? What affects you in a personal way that when you pay attention to it, it's not just your energy, but you're also giving your personal power, like you give your thoughts and your emotions and your attention to, and it ends up draining you rather than building you up. So when we give our power to anything that ends up draining us. Okay, sorry, just got a call to go pick up one of my children. So let's finish the video. I know I'm not getting very far with this video. But when you give your personal power to something, so it's not just your energy, like you're going through your day and you're doing your list, but you give your power away, so it drains you, it saps your energy, it saps your part of your spirit, part of your soul, part of like, part of you that makes you feel good, the part of you that makes you feel alive, the part of you that gives you energy, you know, uh, that gets you this, this vital life force energy. It drains your life force. It drains your vital energy. When you give your power to anything, including your symptoms, including your illness, including an argument with somebody else, including your attention on the news media, including to a doctor or the diagnosis that you've been given, including to all your negative thoughts or the conversation that you had with your mother or your brother or your next door neighbor, or the, the worrying of all the things that you have going on or the conversation or the things that you might've said to somebody or that you should have said to somebody, or why doesn't that person like me? Or or um, why didn't that person call me yesterday or whatever. Any energy like that, any thought, so a thought, an emotion um, that you're wasting drains part of your vital life force and it gives your power, it, it just takes your power and it gives it to something else. You need all that power for healing. So when you're healing yourself, you need all that vital life force, you need all that energy, all that power, all that, you know, that amazing life force that comes from your soul that gives you things like determination and persistence and positive energy and like a feeling of like, I can do it. And every time, it's almost like you have so much power in your body, like, you know, a hundred dollars worth of energy. And if you give it to that conversation, you give it to this person, you give it to, you know, your to-do list, you give it to the news media, you give it to the TV, you give it to scrolling on Facebook, you give it to, you know, social media, you give it to your past traumas, you give it to your symptoms, whatever you give it to, you just keep draining your energy and energy and energy until your light, vital life force is drained, okay? But even if you only drain it halfway, sometimes you drain it all the way and then you go into the vault or the bank, you're in a negative, right? You've drained all your vital life force energy, so you borrow. And you start to borrow from your tissues and your cells and your health. And when you borrow from your health, when you borrow from part of your physical body now and the emotional energy in your reserve tank, you start to get into a deficit. You know, it's, it's just like the way anything else works in life. You start to become indebted. You're in debt. You're in an energy debt, a vital life force energy debt because you've given too much of your personal power away. And now you're in debt and you're borrowing from things like your health, right? From your sleep. You're, you're borrowing from your mind, body, and soul. You're borrowing from the very things that make up the fabric of your health and your vital energy. And when you start to steal and borrow from the places, you know, you get
get into trouble. And that's when you get into illness, chronic illness, long time chronic illness, because you can't keep up and you're borrowing against what you don't have. So just like you need to come into wholeness to heal, by calling your personal power back, by bringing your power and standing in your own power and say, I don't worry about that diagnosis that the doctor gave me. I'm taking that power back. I don't need to research that on the internet anymore and keep looking up all these different people that have my diseases and giving all my attention to my symptoms and all the horror stories out there. I'm taking that power back. That belongs to me. No more. When you take your power back from all of these different parts, you start to build back your life force. You start to build back the ability to have enough energy and vital life force to heal yourself. But everything is about your personal power. Anytime your personal power comes out of your body and goes to something unnecessary, something that's just taking from you, you're basically creating illness. You're continuing your chronic illness. And so if you want to heal, it's always about personal power. It's always about keeping your personal power, calling your personal back in all the different areas of your life, physical, mental, spiritual, relationships, like everything that you have going on, where is your personal power? Where is the energy sapping you? Where are you bleeding, right? Where are, where are you... Where is this life force being drained out of you? In what areas? And you need to stop that. You need to patch them up, right? You need to, to patch the wound. Every little area that you're bleeding, you need to stop it. Every little area where this energy is, you know, running out of you and going to something unnecessary, you need to call it back to you. Call back your energy. Call back your power. Stand in your personal power. How do you feel about it? What resonates with you? How can you claim your own personal power? This is where all healing comes from, okay? Yes, there's a lot of different areas to health, right? We have the physical, we have the mental, we have the spiritual. But it's always about where are you losing power and how can you call your personal power back? So don't give away your personal power and don't let somebody else steal your personal power because oftentimes we give it away. We give it away just because we're not paying attention. We don't feel confident enough. We don't have enough self-esteem. We are, you know, we're unaware of what we're doing. We're in a pattern. There's many reasons why we give it away, okay? Sometimes people steal it from us they come into our space and they take, they take personal power from us. We're trying to hold it, but they take it. Those people have to be cut out of your life. Those situations, those events, you need to become aware that they're taking, they're stealing from you. They're sapping from you against your will, against your acknowledgement. And, and you have the ability to say no, to stand up, to keep your personal power intact. So you have to be able to recognize where you're losing power because of your patterns and because you're just not paying attention. You're in a bad pattern, you're in a bad thought. Like you, you can take control of your own pattern, recondition your brain and your mind. You can stop these patterns. You can stop these addictions so that you don't give away your personal power or you have to recognize who's stealing it from you, right? Where are you bleeding your personal power? And when you find out, are you giving it away voluntarily? Are you just letting it go without thinking? Or is somebody coming in and taking it from you? Are they stealing it from you? Are you, you know, you cannot be a victim. You need to stand up. You need to say, no, this thought is taking my power. No, this pattern is stealing my power. No, this relationship is taking from me. No, this, this job is sucking from me. This, these articles, scrolling, it's taking my power. Staying up too late, it's draining me, my personal power, my energy. You know, doing these kinds of activities, it's draining me. It's draining me, it's taking from me.
it's taking from me. And then you need to use your personal power to stand up anywhere that you are being drained and say no more, no more. You have to do the work on yourself to stop it where you're allowing it to happen and you have to do put boundaries in place for other people and other situations and experiences and relationships so that it doesn't happen from that end. So there's two ways that it happens and you have to be aware enough and then strong enough, secure enough, brave enough, courageous enough, and hardworking enough to do the work that it takes to contain your personal power and not let it escape from you. This is how you heal. So I hope that this video is valuable for you. I hope it's been valuable for you. I hope it has resonated with you. I hope you understand the importance of not letting your personal power be taken away from you and how just how important and how necessary it is at such a fundamental level for you to be able to heal. I hope you really take this seriously. I hope you stop giving away your power. I hope you start to create your own personal power, be able to stand in your own personal power, keep all your energy intact so that you can heal yourself. So if this video has been valuable, give it a like, give me a comment, um, share it around, subscribe, do all of that stuff, and I will see you in the next video.